Angelo here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Here's my stream. So, guys, I was about to do my Hypnos Island, which uh, I think you'll probably hear some of those drunk sailors in the bar right before I accepted the thing. And I found out that the end of the 2022 roadmap is here, October 3rd, 2022. They're going to tell us everything. So, let's start. I'm assuming Brawl Shaza, because Bay Shaza is right there in the middle. So, Heroes of Arkesia, the Rage of the Guns, the Machine. <laughs> Rage with the Machinist update uh, recently released a ton of new content Arkesia with Machinist Advanced Class, Kaku Satan, Legion Raid, and new progression events. But we know players are eager to learn what's arriving in the next couple months, so let's dive in. There are two main stories to be told over the next three months as we look to close out 2022. The next few months will mark the road of the Brel Shaza Legion Raid, one of the most challenging, unique, and beautifully dangerous raids in all of Lost Ark. As we head towards the climactic battle against the Phantom Legion Commander, new raids will be added in the October in October for the heroes in Arkesia to hone their teamwork, skills, and ability to overcome unique mechanics, and new progression events to provide upgrade materials and progression opportunities. December will bring Brel Shaza along with a host of other content to the end of the year to end the year with a bang so brawl shaza confirmed december if i were to guess end of december probably right before the new year like i said it's you know to uh you know end the year with a bang so it'll probably be like fuck like december 31st or whatever uh so yeah matter of fact let me see that'll probably be most likely literally yeah well actually no if it's so Wednesday, if it does it, it'll be Wednesday the 28th. So December 28th will be when they potentially release Brawl Shaza. Next, number two, the release of both the, oh, oh, both? Oh, hell yeah, listen to this. Release of both the Reaper and Summoner. Thank you, look at this, perfect. I was just asking first. I said, give me my Summoner so I can start working on her just like I'm working on my, my uh, Machinist. Dude, this game fucking knows, it heard, it listened to me. You know, oh, that's right. What time of the year is it's, it's fall time. This is when people are gaming. So both the Reaper and the Summoner classes will be over the next three months. Uh, what is it? Conclude our plan of releasing the first 21 advanced classes before the other new or future classes are added to give new players for uh, new opportunities for players to fill their rosters with their favorite play styles. Thank you. Because, yeah, that's the last one I'm going to I'm going to make. I'm going to make a Summoner. And as far as all that I can handle, I think that's all I can add. I don't know if I'll be able to play any more than those 12 characters. Because it's already... I have 11, and it's getting tough to balance all of them, man. So I don't know how you can get so many other ones. It's getting pretty tough, all right? Uh, the content and updates found below are some highlights we know players are eagerly awaiting and is not a comprehensive list of everything, every change arriving in Arkesia over the next few months. Stay tuned to our website and social channels for future release notes, including the full list of new content, cosmetic, balance changes, events, bug fixes, and more included in these updates. So we're going to get Mystic Ray... What the fuck is this? N new event, Mystic Ray... Mystic Abyss Raid. What the hell is that? Uh, the Guardian Mystic, formerly known as the Herald of Varagrays and the Ark Carrier, has begun to cast dangerous mist from the permeated chaos and must be vanquished in this new limited time abyss rate. What the fuck? A limited time? What in the shit? Yeah, he's hard farting. Look at that. His mist? <laughs> Doubt that. Too many veins, bruh. Uh, scale of Harmony is a... Oh, so it's, so it's actually like a full-on, full-on challenge kind of event thing. Okay. Changing character stats to match the Guardian's level. The item level is 1302 or higher is required to battle. Oh, so you need to be 1302 or higher. By then, everyone's going to be fucking 1302. All of my characters are 1302 or higher, except for my summoner. She's just chilling right now. And an abundance of weekly rewards await those who rise to the challenge. So it's a weekly. Is it a weekly? For a little bit? Okay, sure. Oh, shit. Infernal Vicus. Okay, so the most difficult version of Legion Raids, the Infernal difficulty, is about proving you're among the best of the best in Arkesia and earning prestige. Rather than chasing the normal rewards of gear, material, everything else, you receive Legion Raid. Infernal instead showcases your victory with titles, achievements, stronghold structures, and more. Skill of balance is applied and uh, book of completion. That, that's the reason why I haven't, I haven't done book of coordination. So, yeah. So, every gear, everyone's gear is normalized against the thing. Legion Commander entry into the Infernal difficulty require item level 1460. I only have one character that can do that. Achate's Trial Guardian. I fucking hate this guy. 
A challenging experience akin to the infernal difficulty of uh, Legion raids, the Achatish Trial Guardian can only be entered after setting up your build through another book of coordination thing. Okay, if defeated, prestigious rewards, achievements, and a legendary tile will be earned by the vanquishing party to award prestige and celebrate the hard-fought victory. So it's basically just, you know, hard flex. Hard flex, okay. Other key content. Oh, Halloween shit. Okay. That's kind of cool. All right. Like zombie looks. I mean, yeah. All right. Oh, that's that's adorable. There's a little ghost, like a cat ghost that follows a soul. Um, the soul fist. Interesting. Interesting. What is it? Oh, that must be a reaper? Is that a reaper? I don't know what that is. Very goth, though. Hard goth right there. Yeah, so other key content. These three raids aren't the only thing arriving October. Players in San Diego. What the fuck? Can, oh, join us at TwitchCom for more details to come. And in those in Arkeesh, you can look forward to the Arc Pass Season 2. Finally! Oh, so this is Arc Pass Season 2 shit. Okay, cool. Nerea's Wardrobe Halloween Edition, the continuation of the September progression events, and uh, Competitive Proving Ground Season 2 will kick off at the end of the month. At the end of the month. So, end of October? Okay, I guess the end of October. All right. Reaper! The one that everybody wanted, the, the class that's always on the floor, the Florper, you know, but yeah, Reapers are true assassins and masters of stealth, from powerful back attacks inflicted by their daggers to misleading opponents by vanishing and summoning clones. Reapers have a variety of tools at their disposal and vanquish whatever threat crosses their path. Uh, other key content. So this is October? No, November. Okay, so she, so October, all that stuff, we get those raids and whatnot, possibly. Yeah, Invernal, uh, and the new Mystic thing, and then... Maybe Arc Pass at the end, and then November, so probably the first or second week of November, you get Reaper. So does that mean Summoner comes in December? We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, other key... Oh, they're doing the Tripod Transfer System improvements, which guarantee the tra uh, transfer tripods through a, a new amulet material used for applying skill tripods. Bring new notification improvements, skill tree guide quest improvements, and add a skill tree transfer mission in the training area. Hmm, okay. Balance update. Okay, we got balance update. Changes to the Legion Raid hallucination gear effect. Is that good or bad? I don't know about that. Uh, class balance updates to the Berserker, Destroyer, Scrapper, Solfus, Glavier, Artillerist, Sharpshooter, Gunslinger, machi Machinist. What are you doing, my Machinist? I just, I'm still learning. And Arcanist. Uh, stronghold improvements such as interior decorations, a new trophy system, and trophy room. Gifting, the ability to place mounts and pets. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, structure uh, placement updates, new jukebox music. Uh, HUD improvements and a new mini games. Yes, I can't wait for the new mini games. That's what I'm I'm very much interested in. So let's see what that is. The Mystic uh, Abyss raid event will continue in the beginning of the month for players to continue uh, to build their raid skills and earn valuable rewards as they push towards the slew of thre uh, of threats arriving in December, along a special progression event. Cool. Here we are. Here we are. My final character class I'm going to do. Unless there's something really amazing that's coming out next, but this will be the last one until then. Uh, December. Summoner. So I got, yeah, I got two months to wait. All right. Uh, summoner advanced class. Despite delicate constitution, summoners are forced to be reckoned are forced to be reckoned with. They call forth elemental spirits to fight for them, each of their own special skills to help the summoner shine in every situation. With a powerful variety of uh, water, lightning, earth, and more unique attacks, the summoner is a welcome addition to a roster of available mage advanced class and brush house as Zeus would say is a phantom astalgia deja vu and normal difficulty deja vu huh, huh. all right uh, face Brawl Shaza of the Phantom Legion in an immersive and challenging eight-player Legion raid spanning six, god damn, six gates and encounters. The most cunning and ruthless of all the Legion commanders. She is known to charm her enemies and inflict them with awful hallucinations. With so many encounters, the gates work differently, and item level requirements rise every two gates. Similar to Midnight Circus Encore difficulty of the Kakusaden. Uh, Legion Raid. An easier difficulty is available for players to practice the difficult encounters and mechanics. So, Deja Vu, you gotta be 1430. Gate 1 and 2 is, god damn, 1490. Gate 3 and 4 is 1500. And Gate 5 and 6 is 1520. Fuck, I might have to start honing my main again. Well, who's gonna be my main? My Machinist or my Striker? I don't know yet. Right now it's my Striker, but we'll see. Uh, Kaliligos Guardian Raid. Okay, is that new? 
is the master of lightning commanding blue lightning to bring enemies to their knees his wings are as swift as the wind and power of the blue thunderbolts concentrate in his horn sharper than any spear to pierce through the hearts of his enemies as a ruler of the skies he was worshipped in the past as a god but Kaliligos is no god he's a cruel ruler of the skies and ruthless guardian Kaliligos will join the Gauntlet of Legion 6 Guardians. The item level to challenge is 1490. Fuck, I'm not even that. I'm 1477.5, I think. Other key content. The new uh, content doesn't stop there. The new raids and a new advanced class. Higher level South Vern Void Chaos Dungeons. Excellent. And hard T3 cube and boss rush activities. Okay. Damn, you need to be 1490 to do that? Sure. We'll arrive along with Neria's wardrobe, pajama edition, a festival holiday event, and new accessories type, the bracelet, which can be earned from the Brelshaza Legion raid, Kaliligos uh, Guardian raid, and South Vern's new void chaos dungeons. Wait. Oh, so you can get the bracelet from Brelshaza, Kaliligos, who is a 1490, and South Fern's Chaos Dungeon, which is also 1490. Okay, so basically you gotta get 1490 if you wanna try and earn the bracelets. Okay. The bracelet increases character stats, but doesn't have engraving slotted into it like other... Oh, so it's just to get your stats up. Okay, cool. So it, it's, it's a stat thing. And then looking ahead, we're excited to see players vanquish the myriads of threats arriving in the coming months as they grow their skills and challenging activities and grow their rosters with the new advanced classes and earn impactful rewards to help progression. In the meantime, stay tuned to our website, social channels, and release notes for the full list of new content, store updates, events, bug fixes, and more over the coming months. See you in Arkesia. So yeah, guys, there we go. So we got a bunch of new raids. Brel Shaza, which is goddamn. I mean, I saw him working on the other guy. I'm happy, but it's... I'm gonna have to wait what, three months, basically, three months for uh, for Homegirl. So Reaper is in November. That's what I was saying. Every month, give us a new fucking one. Like, why why were they delaying it? But you know, hey, I guess this is better than nothing. Um, yeah, Achate's Trial. Um, yeah, Infernal, Mystic Raid, all that stuff. But there you guys go. End of 2022 roadmap. A lot of stuff to go. You know, it's gonna get rowdy. We're gonna see how it is. Hopefully it's good. Uh, I'm interested. I'm glad that I will finally get to see Homegirl right here. You know, I'll be able to play the Summoner. That'll be the final character. That'll be Unaleska. And yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully we'll get some good updates. I miss Blue Makoko's. That extra 5k I was making every two to three days uh, is it, sorely missed. But there you guys go. Let me know in the comments below. You guys still playing? You guys going to make yourself either a Reaper, which everybody wanted from the beginning. Uh, are you going to make a... A summoner like me i know it's not going to be like path of exile zombies and things like that kind of summoner they're they're linked to her skills so if she does like w it's gonna it calls an, an item or a thing or a water creature and it does its water attack it does things like that so it's going to be interesting to me unique but i i'm pretty sure that's the last class i want to play so until they come out something amazing i don't care about the ayayas but long story short guys we got some good stuff coming our way I'd like to get more free shit because I'm greedy as fuck, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys can do, what you guys can play. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys out there. Later!